the three products that uh, we're looking at, or Gus is looking at seriously, uh, are uh, clothianidin, which uh, is, um, uh, two companies have that product available, or will be available soon from Valent. Uh, Bayer had the product, and that little graph below there on, uh, on grape colaspis that shows uh, how well it controlled uh, the uh, grape Pelasbus in 2005, which was the only field test, positive field test that I'd got probably in the last five years of testing for grape Pelasbus. And we just had the right, the plots in the right spot at the right time and got some information. Um, Poncho works really well. It's a Bayer product. Bayer was also the company that had Icon. Uh, they pull that from the market, and Bayer is not interested in registering Icon or uh, inter interested in registering Poncho for rice. So Valent has a product. Uh, it's the same active ingredients. Uh, it's either going to be called Nipset Inside, uh, which is what they're using for grain sorghum right now. That's the name, or it may be called Belay or Belay. Uh, either one. Uh, but we're hoping that they continue with their registration process and get this material registered in rice because we know it has real good activity against grape colaspis. The other product that's out, thiomethoxam, is a product from Syngenta. Uh, it's called Cruiser. Gus's data has, has shown some really positive results on control of colaspis with the Cruiser. Um, it, like other neonicotinoid insecticides, appears to have some boost to the plant because we're seeing uh, in, in, in a certain proportion of Gus's test, he's seeing a, an, uh, an early emergence with the, in the plots that have cruiser. A couple of days difference between that and the untreated. It's not necessarily on every test that we see this and that was the same way if any of you guys remember icon um, sometimes you would get a boost and an early emergence and sometimes you wouldn't it just depended on whatever factors that we are still a question mark we really don't know uh, so um, the, the, the plots that I've seen that had cruiser on it looked really good I mean there was a nice uniform uh, emergence of the plants, uniformity of size, which as you all know is, is a great benefit to have uniformity. The third product that uh, that's, uh, will be registered this fall or should be on the market is called Dermacore. Uh, Rhinaxapure is the active ingredient. Uh, this, this product uh, in Gus's test showed some, some suppression of grape colossus, maybe 40 or 50 percent control. It's, uh, we don't call that control, we call that suppression. Uh, it's just not been as good a product uh, for grape colaspis. Dermacore and Cruiser and Poncho, or, or I'm sorry, uh, Nipset, if we get the right rate of Nipset, uh, all of those will give you excellent control of rice water weevil. If um, we're not sure if it'll be uh, to the point where you can cut the rate like we did with Icon and still get control of grape colaspis, but your rice water weevil control suffered a bit. We just need to test that when the final, pro the final formulations come out and we see what we got, we can tell whether what rates we need for, for uh, grape colaspis control and perhaps uh, for uh, rice water weevil control. If you will turn your attention to the last graph on that page, We'll start talking a little bit about rice stink bug. Um, this was a test I conducted last year with uh, it was B-Lay and a product from Mitsui Chemical called Dinotefuran. We're really excited about these products. Uh, if Valent comes on and registers uh, B-Lay or Nipset, uh, uh, you can see that you get good residual activity. Now, let me point out in this test, you look at the bottom, you'll see Karate Z down there, and we're showing activity on out five, six, seven days after treatment. Now this is not a, that was not normal. 
We normally, after two or three days, your karate activity is almost down to zero. But in this particular test, it rained on it three times, and it may have had an inf influence on the, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, uh, the activity of the karate, because we got activity on out four or five days, which is really, really unusual. But for the, the other products, they've been tested in Texas, uh, and other states and they're seeing the same thing that I did. We're getting about five, seven, even up to ten days worth of residual activity for both of those products and we're really happy to see that and it'll be a great benefit to the growers if we get it uh, registered. If you flip over you can see a, uh, uh, a table first that gives you an idea of what the relative susceptibilities are to some of the varieties for rice stink bug. This, now this is a, these are in side-by-side -side plots, so the stink bug can actually do some choosing and go to the varieties that they particularly like, and you'll see some differences in, in the, uh, the susceptibility level. This doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get these low numbers, am I okay? Uh, low numbers in a field, uh, if there's no other varieties around, you may be getting some high numbers, but those are the relative susceptibilities. And then the, uh, the last graph shows a, a series uh, of, um, uh, of the years at which we've measured the damage to rice stink bug. Uh, this year, in 2009, if that pattern holds like it has in the past, we're expecting low numbers of rice stink bugs, which is what's showing up. Uh, early on, the first headed things were getting quite a few stink bugs, but now they're really kind of moving up out into the other rice as it begins to head so we're kind of looking at maybe a low low year for stink bug damage. These particular tests that are behind me to my left and to my right, uh, to your right down, uh, the last plots down there are a test funded by the Rice Promotion Board. It's on the uh, rice water weevil. We're looking at, at shallow flood and how that influences uh, rice water weevil. And in the past three years, we've shown that with a just a two-inch flood, three or three to four weeks post starting of your flood, you can reduce your weevils by 30 percent. This is routine over the plot, all of, all the plots and all the years. And then you pump it up to a deep flood about four inches, uh, so that you don't predispose those plants to blast infect, in, infestation. Uh, that's it's not going to be for everybody. It just, it's just for some folks that may be able to regulate the water depth in, those, in their patties and get a shallow flood and you can reduce the number of weevils that are out there. Um, these plots, uh, uh, just immediately to, uh, to, to uh, your right are the uh, cruiser plots. We're looking at different formulations of the product uh, from cruiser. Uh, from Syngenta. Those that are directly behind me are the Dermacore uh, plots. Uh, we're, that's a rice water weevil test. Also, we're looking at, at how uh, seeding rate influences uh, the activity of the product. Uh, we got another rice water weevil test there in a little bitty plot. And uh, uh, further up, we have, we're, we'll, later on when it starts ahead, we'll have a rice stink bug test in which we'll be looking at uh, Bele again, Bele again this year uh, and uh, uh, it'll be a rate test to see how low we can go and still get uh, activity, good initial activity and residual activity.